Hi everyone, this is Miss Grapmas here for Embry Treasurista and I have uh, a, a uh, altered bird cage. So this uh, bird cage is actually a candle holder. Uh, you can see in the nest is where you place your candle and uh, the bird was actually supposed to be where the heart is on the bottom. And uh, on the chain, I've just added some uh, chandelier charms from the Ember Treasurisa. Uh, this is an old one, and this is the newest one she's added. Uh, so let's start from the beginning. It was all white, and I've painted it with acrylic co uh, colors, um, acrylic paint, and the color is, is uh, sand, and then. Uh, for the greenish color, I've actually mixed uh, the sand color acrylic paint with some uh, uh, turquoise uh, acrylic paint. Uh, I can't remember who is by, but it's some kind of fabric uh, paint. I'll uh, list it uh, on the blog. But I, <laughs> the color turned out uh, to be really uh, similar to the Celadon. Uh, color that uh, Misty sent us uh, tons of uh, products in the Celadon colors from um, uh, let's see May's design team package. So I thought it would go really well with that one. So I, I continued on that uh, color palette, uh, and I've uh, tried to make uh, the colors be a bit distressed. So it's different. Uh, it's different all over the cage. I just randomly. Uh, try to paint it and um, you see the this uh, flower was all white from the beginning but I tried to efface the green on the leaves and the sand color on the, on the flowers but it looked quite empty so I added the celadon color to the middle and then uh, I discovered that the 10 millimeter flat back pearl uh, went uh, fit perfectly uh, in there so I took the water blue flat back pearl and put it there and unfortunately I didn't have enough for the other two so you see Missy I need two more uh, flat back pearls of the water uh, blue please the other ones I put as the as the egg in the nest for the bird there and on the bird I've also added a little fleur de lis charm, I hope you can pick it up. So, but then uh, after uh, I've colored everything, I, uh, I hid the bottom, let's see, uh, in the celadon uh, ruffled uh, satin lace. And it's the perfect color really for this. So, and I also had some mint flat back pearl, which I uh, dressed the other uh, horizontal line with. And the lovebirds came uh, perfectly uh, with the sand colors. This is actually really easy to do. I've just simply this is probably the most effective. I used the uh, uh, gem, uh, candy gem acrylic spray in uh, apple green and yellow, and I've just uh, dressed uh, the cage with them, where the flowers wasn't uh, in the way uh, to to um, be branches. And then I took a green one and just, uh, no, the, sorry, a green and a yellow one. And I just uh, uh, twined them in a circle. I'm not sure if you can see. And I put it where the, the candle holder to be the nest. And I glued three of the flat back pearls in water blue to uh, be the eggs. And then I added uh, one... Uh, uh, 10 millimeter rosebud from Wild Orchid Craft, and that one is um, it's uh, sprayed lightly with salt water 
taffy sprays from the Nantucket Pearl Sprays. I use that a lot, but the, the pastel colors are gorgeous. Um, Alright, and then I also have the Sweetheart Blossom in the bottom there to go. But that is really it to uh, to my birdcage. Uh, this project came together super fast and I'm so happy with it. It looks so much better now than when it was uh, entirely white. Um, I, I had it in mind when I, bought, when I saw it, but I couldn't imagine that it would be so easy to make. But that's the beauty of having great products available, right? <laughs> So that's my project and I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you at mbtreasurista.com. Thank you for watching. Bye.